SureDog.com here with Melvin Gallard, the young assassin. Your debut, World Series of Fighting, coming up in just a couple of weeks. Any kind of weird feelings about fighting a guy that you've spent a lot of mat time with? Nah, man, you know, I'm, I'm like that with everybody. I, I fight whoever they tell me to fight. It doesn't matter if we train together. I mean, it's been over a year since we trained together, so I'm pretty sure I, I know different things that he hasn't seen and he's going to vice versa. So it doesn't really matter, man. You train to fight and you're a fighter, you, you'll be ready for anything. You hit mitts with the guy that he's hitting mitts with. The same can't be said for him. Like, it's basically a whole new team over at American Top Team. So not really guys that really trained him. Do you think there's an inherent advantage for you in that? I, I think it is a little bit because, you know, I train with his trainer. So, like, when he's getting coached in the corner, I'll be able to listen in on things that he's calling, and I'll know what he's calling for. So I think I do, I do have a little bit of an advantage there. I mean, you can't expect anything in a fight. You can always expect a great fight from someone, and you can expect them to go 100%. So I don't expect any. I'm not looking to see anything that's familiar or anything like that. I'm just in there to fight and get the win and get the knockout. I'm going for the finish, definitely. Where, where are you? I mean, the last couple of years you've, you've done a little bit of gym bouncing. You've kind of spent some time here, spent in Albuquerque, some time in Florida, different gym in Florida. You went out to Colorado, trained with Trevor Whitman for a fight. Do you feel like you're, you're settled in at American Top Team? Yeah, I'm definitely settled. I mean, when, when I'm done with American Top Team, I'll be, I'll be done with the sport. I'll be retiring. That's going to be the last gym that I'll be affiliated with. And I'm comfortable there. I'm happy there. And, um, you know, the guys that push me and they, they train hard. So I think I'm in a good spot. You, you kind of lightly touched on retirement. Is, is that something that, that is, is that something that, that, that even gets into your head? Do you do you do you have a timeline for yourself? Do you have a five? Is there a Melvin Gillard five-year plan? No, there isn't. I mean, I'm gonna fight until I'm not healthy to fight. And I mean, I, I haven't taken any damage over the years. I'm I'm pretty consistent with not getting hit in fights. So I mean, I'm gonna fight till I'm 50 if I can. Knowing Jay Z, where do you think style-wise, how you guys match up? Where do you think? Your big advantage is obviously in the striking. Do you think you're just going to be way too fast for him? I, I believe my, my advantage is going to come from the speed and the quickness. And um, that's, that's what I'm banking on. I'm, I'm the better athlete. I know that down, like, hands down, I'm the better athlete than probably all those guys on that stage. So for me, um, it's definitely going to be me beating them to the punch and being athletic and moving my feet, not, not sitting too long in, in one spot like I did recent fights. So I'll be ready. I, I know you're not a guy that's probably going to put take pressure from this but uh is there any kind of added pressure just for i mean you're going to be the guy fighting on nbc you know this is their first card on nbc do you feel like there's any anything that they are they're expecting out of you are they expecting melvin to go out there and just you know go out on his shield if he has to and just have a brawl i don't know what they're expecting i just know what i need i expect of myself and that's all that matters i know i'm gonna go out here i have an opportunity of a lifetime to be with a, a new organization that's growing and once again, I get to reset the timeline and grow with a company right now. So, you know, I'm pretty good at growing with companies, obviously. And um, I have a chance to grow with this company and be a champion. So I, I'm, I'm expecting great things from myself. I'm not, I don't have any pressure from anybody else's expectations, only my own.